Hello Capricorn, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second week of June 2020. So that will be Monday the 8th to the 14th, Sunday the 14th, and I'm using the, uh, the Fountain Tarot for your reading. As well as that, I'll be doing, I'll be pulling a card from the, uh, the Universe Has Your Back. Oracle deck for an extra message for you. Thought I'd do something a little different this time. So um, let's see. What does Capricorn need to know for the second week of June? What does Capricorn need to know for the second week of June 2020? What does Capricorn need to know? Pentacles, Judgment. We'll see if they come up. One more shuffle. Alright, first card is the Star card. That's nice. Second card is the Knight of Wands. Third card is the Page of Cups. Fourth card is the Three of Swords. That's not so good. Hmm. Bottom card is the Ten of Swords. I think the card underneath the Ten of Swords as part of your reading, it's the Six of Swords. That makes more sense with that Three of Swords card. Because we have um, the Star card for your Major Arcana, this card is really important to your reading. It holds a lot of weight. So that's why I feel like the Six of Swords belongs in your reading. I feel like you've been hurt in the past with the Six of Swords. But you know that saying, everything happens for a reason? Well, I think that that is relevant in your reading. I think that you've gained a lot of wisdom from that. You've learned a lot from, from that experience. Uh, it was very painful, you know, the Ten of Swords. This is as bad as it gets. This was a very low point when this happened, when your heart got broken. But you, you learned a lot from it. And now you're um, able to move towards something much better. You're moving towards your destiny. You get the star card. This is dreams coming true. And you're not alone in that boat. There's two people. It's hard to see. It's not focusing on my uh, camera here, but if you go to my uh, flip through tarot list uh, playlist, you can look at all of these cards in great detail. So yeah, six of swords. So I feel like. Um, Someone has stirred your heart here. Because we have the uh, Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So the Page of Cups. It's as though this person has taken the cup out of the box. So I feel like you've uh, put your, your emotions on, on hold, on pause. You put your feelings aside to, uh, in order to deal with the pain of whatever happened before. But now the, the cup is taken out. Your, your, um, your, um, your heart is being opened up. Someone has stirred your heart, your passion. 
something happened. And the Knight of Wands tells me that you're very passionate to go towards it. So um, that gives you the momentum to leave this painful past behind you. So we have swords, but we have water. So water is your, are your emotions. You've learned how to deal with painful emotions. It could be with these two cards, because the Knight of Wands can be yet like a player type person. It could be that someone played you in the past. But that's in the past now. I see you moving forward. You're going after your dreams. You're going after what is going to give you emotional fulfillment. And all of this happened, even though it's painful, it was meant to happen that way. The universe has a funny way of uh, making things happen to bring different elements together at just the right time. So that's the, uh, the feeling I'm getting with your reading here. So it seems pretty straightforward. So um, I think I'm going to pull a card from the, that deck I mentioned. The universe has your back. We'll see. we'll see what comes up. Oh, very, very good. I think this is your card that jumped out here. This is nice, bright, and sunny. Positive. It says... When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, see, lessons learned here. In the universe, right, what I was saying. So when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided. I will always, <laughs> I will always be guided back to the light. Yeah, you're leaving a dark period, for sure. You see? You're leaving this very painful experience. You're moving towards the light, towards something much better. And I have a feeling you're not doing it alone. You're doing it with somebody else. So there may be somebody coming into your life that is going to uh, give you that little nudge that you need to set it in motion so that's really nice i really like that reading for you capricorn so uh, let me know if this is your story leave me a comment give me a like share subscribe and we'll see you for the following read bye for now